Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Tournament in Review. Today, we're going to look at the 2,000 point list that I took to the Can Hammer Team Tournament this weekend. The Dark Team. Hello and welcome to the Tournament in Review. If you haven't watched one of these before, I'm going to break down a competitive Warhammer 40,000 list, in this case, the Drakari that I took to the Canhammer Team Tournament this weekend in Ottawa, Ontario. Then you're gonna get, me, get to see me take the list and play it in the five rounds of the event and then come back to the studio and tell you all about what I learned about the factions that I faced and thoughts and processes and hopefully it helps you develop your list in the future. And there you have it, 2,000 points of Drukhari, so let's dive right in. And here we have the list. Let's take a look at the different parts of this list, but I have played almost 60 games with the new detachment. And this list is sort of like the pinnacle of my list development for Sky Splinter Assault. So in the character section, we have Lilith Esprax, who's quickly become one of my favorite characters. I have an Archon who is a Warlord with the Nightmare Shroud to ignore Overwatch, and I have a secondary Archon with no upgrades. For the Archons themselves, we have two units of Incubi, which uh, have been great. Some folks really like the 10 strong Incubi units. I've never found I needed more than five in most of my games. And then a 10 uh, unit of witches that Lilith can go with. Sometimes I run her with the full 10, sometimes I run her with a split unit in a Venom. I also have two Beast Pack units. Uh, they're key to the success of this list. It's sad that they're, they, you ha I feel like you need to take a Beast Pack, but if you don't, there's so many things that just go wrong every single game. They really help you with board positioning and they're so important. Then we have three units of Scourge, one unit with uh, Haywires and two units with Dark Lances. We do have four Venoms and a Raider as the transports. Uh, we do have two units of Cabalite Warriors as like the meat and potatoes of the list. A lot of folks don't like them. I love my Cabalites. And then we've got uh, three units of Mandrakes, a Talos with Haywire into a liquefy Gun is like a token Talos. A Kronos for some pain regeneration and a unit of Rex. And that's 2,000 points. The purpose of this list was to be scrappy. So I could score points pretty much into anything except for potentially like Custodes before the update and Necrons, which can be tough, especially if they're running like the 18 Wraith Canoptic Court. And there you have it, folks. 2,000 points. Let's go to the event and see what this army can do. And it is the night before the tournament, and we're here just having food and having a good time. That's it. Tomorrow, it's game time. And here we are at the venue, the EY Center in Ottawa. And it is a massive venue. This vet, there's 22 teams of eight players at this team event and uh, it definitely like you have a pairing table in the middle and you have all the tables around which is really really cool uh, very it's, it's basically WTC world team team championship style and stutter scrub is on table 10 which is really exciting okay so I'm uh, looking forward to our first round against Hambone team Hambone Round one, I'm playing Louis, and he's playing guard. Yeah. That's right, lots of guard, lots of stuff. He's going first on supply drop, and we're just about to move our scouts. That one's disappearing first. That one remains, which is uh, good. Now, we are playing with player-placed terrain in this event. Well, there's four tables that are player-placed, and then four tables that are WTC style. And so I haven't played player-placed in a, in a while, which is very interesting. End of the first game for the first round. It was a 12-8 for the Drukhari. Um, very tight game. The guard went first, and uh, they did a lot of damage early on. But there was a massive swing where Lilith and uh, her witches just cleaned a 20-strong unit of Death Corps Kriegsmen with a marshal in a single combat phase. And that was wild. That like completely changed the entire like pace of the game and uh, I was able to kind of swing it back. But those, it was funny because he only had two Basilisks and they did way more damage, just the two Basilisks than I thought. They were super efficient. They did a lot of work uh, cleaning out all my Scourge. Fantastic game. I'm, uh, I, I think we might've won the round. I'm not checking, I have to check it. But on to round number two. Round number two against the War Game Warriors. We did win the last round, which was nice. I don't mind winning. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I'm playing against Eldar. 
Um, Nico and I played way back in the day at the TGX event uh, a while back. And uh, so I ended up going first on Vital Ground. So both of my beast packs, as you can see, are well in his deployment zone and just being really annoying. So that's exactly what they do. He has a lot of haywire. He's actually being an Ari, so he has Scourge and he's got like Cabalite Wars for the sticky objectives and stuff. So it's really cool that he has a lot of the same units and tools that I do, uh, except with all of the Eldar trickery that you can add in with an Ari. So with that, wish me luck. So uh, we did, I ended up winning the last game. <laughs> And um, uh, it was a good game, 13-7 into Eldar. Right now we're into Blunt Force Trauma. So we're just having fun. That's Chris, that's the crew. We're on stream at uh, War Games Live. So really excited about that. Joe dr flew all the way from Europe after his uh, Alpine Cup run. And uh, he's just over there, just behind the computer, right there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good time. So I hope you enjoy watching. I am playing Devon and his 18 million wraiths in Catan on Joe's stream from War Games Live. Check it out. Of course, this is the Patreon stream, so make sure you head on over and give him some support over there. And that, Dustin versus Jason, is the stream game that you can find live. It was the last round of the first day. So that's pretty cool. Wish me luck. And that was game. I ended up with quite a few units still on the board, but I only scored five points on primary. The race just really had a hard I had a hard time dealing with them and it was a story of me not killing Catan for like every time I committed to trying to kill a Catan um, and then at the end I had to use a pain token to reroll a charge and I didn't have one to reroll hit some wounds against to get assassinate which would have given me one point all in all fantastic game against Devin but I got smashed 20 nil okay well that's it I think we lost the round it's fair to say so I think so I'm, I, I think that's how that's trending uh, but we're going to go to round number four tomorrow. Round number four. Playing against Team Chimera. Chimera Gaming. They have a store in Kitchener, Waterloo area in uh, Ontario, which is really cool. And uh, so we're having a really fun time. We've got, like, it's just really chill at this point. Just because we're all really tired. And uh, we had, and it's just a fun time with friends. I'm playing against Eldar once again. Um, <laughs> and the... This is the start of turn two, and his Ortark did not, Will's Ortark did not stand back up, which yeah. uh, does not bode well. Nope. Um, however, I'm, this is my 24 inch uh, from D Cannon's bubble. <laughs> so, yeah, excellent. Okay, well, wish me luck, and uh, yeah, we'll come back after the game. End of round number four. Uh, the Drukari did end up winning the round, it was a 17 3 win. Uh, turn like two slash three were very very big for the Drukari and I was able to sort of like just completely capitalize it It was very close until turn four and then the Eldar just ran out of units And then I had two turns of uncontested scoring on a take and hold mission Which then just just flipped the score wildly uh, into my favor So another win for the Drukari and on to round number five and we're here for round number five We're playing against blood bath and beyond and uh, it's been Fantastic, we got all our pairings going, which is great. I'm playing against elves again. Seems like that's my name of the day, but it's a very similar list to what Tim's old list was, which is the Avatar, the Scathatch, D Cannons, and then some Chaff. Um, so I'm in a, we're in a decent position. I did go first. It is Purge the Foe, so it's definitely a very wild game right now. But with that, let's uh, push me luck. And that is game. So at the end of the game, all the Eldar are dead. There's an Avatar getting points. 15-5 win for the Drukhari. Lilith was awesome. Scourge killed the Skashats in three turns, which is actually really very surprising. But they did it, and then he exploded and killed a bunch of stuff in the back lines, which was kind of wild. Um, shout out to Fugin, because Fugin made like 80% of his 5-up field pains, which kept him alive really long and kind of held up this entire flank, which is great. Well, with that... That's four and one at the team event. I think the team's doing relatively okay. So I'm looking forward to awards and all that good stuff. And yeah, thanks a lot for uh, enjoying it. We're going to go to the studio and talk about the army list and what I learned. I really like this list. And I think um, the changes that I'll make aren't necessarily to the list, but like little nuances of how to play it. And of course, with points and data slate potentially come in soon at the end of the month. Um, then who knows we'll see maybe the meta will probably shift thanks to points and stuff i'm really looking forward to the future and what it may bring welcome back to the studio wow what a crazy fun event um now the, i was tired and my brain was frazzled the whole event 
which um, meant that like if you saw me at the event or whatever, I was definitely not like my usual very like up there self. But I did have a good time seeing folks and I had a good time playing the game. So let's break down the list, what I learned and what you can take home from it. A huge shout out to the Stud or Scrub team. Now, Dustin and I do a podcast every other week called the Stud or Scrub podcast. You can always find us on wherever you find your podcasts. Uh, we did come in third place. So we got a little uh, trophy. So uh, we podiumed and it was a great time. Quick breakdown of the list. Lilith, amazing. Archons and Incubi, amazing. Cabalites, very good. The Racks, ah, hit or miss. The Mandrakes, win me games. The Kronos, very good for paying tokens. The Talos was, you know, okay, but it's probably the one thing that I don't know what to do with in the list. The Transport, sort of like breakdown with four and one. I think that worked great. The Scourge are MVPs and the Beast Packs are MVPs. And of course, if you take the list, I highly recommend the Witches. So in and of that self, I think the list is pretty solid. The only thing that really sort of like stands out is like the Talos and the Racks are like okay. You know, I don't absolutely need them. So that's 80 points plus 60, right? It's 140 points. So like, I guess you could do a couple of things with that point. So what would I do if I really wanted to like solidify or change the list and kind of make it more efficient? So I basically have come up with two sort of like tweak options that you can use for this list. And it involves dropping the Talos and the Rex. Now in the first option, you basically drop the Nightmare Shroud. So that's 20 points. That gives you 160 points in total. And that means you can add either two single Talos or a group of two. So if you like some chunk, you can definitely go for that. However, you would lose the Rex and your no Overwatch enhancement. Option number two, you drop the Rex, you drop the Talos, and you add two units of Reaver Jet Bikes. Um, you can do that. You have, I think, 20 points left over. That's 120 to 200, 240. So you can add like 20 points worth of enhancements on that other Archon. Either Spiteful Raider and then be 10 points under, and then maybe switch one of those to another Raider. Or you could do something like um, the other one, like the Sadistic Fulcrum, or the, you know, the shroud one or whatever. Anyway, so those are like the options that I've really come up with, but let me know which one you like in the comments down below. And there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this tournament in review. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, leave a link, a uh, question down below in the comments. A huge shout out to the channel Patreons, without whom none of this would be possible. Thank you so much to all of you. And if you'd like to support the channel, that is the best way. The link is in the description below. Of course, you can always like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be at the next event doing one of these again. And I hope you enjoyed. I've been Skari, your grateful host, signing off until next time. Ah, the Dark King. Bye, everybody.